Hello and welcome to this DualShock 3 controller tutorial. I'm going to show you what I believe is by far the best um, controller driver slash application because it's like a driver and an application for this thing. But uh, it works incredibly well. You can use it on Steam. You can work it pretty much any game because it can um, emulate an Xbox controller. And also, you can make it work how the original DualShock 3 should work. And uh, you might be wondering, well, why not use the official DualShock 3 driver? Good question. Because the DualShock 3 driver seems to actually be less stable with applications like RPCS3 in my experience helping other people. Um, when you've got it wired, it, people seem to disconnect more frequently on that where this seems to be more secure. For whatever reason, it's just something that's clearly evident when helping people with a DualShock 3 controller. So without further ado, let's just uh, get into it. In fact, before we do, one thing to note is before you can even install this if you've downloaded any other driver in the past you have to remove it completely um, i'll leave a guide to the description of this video as well for that and i may make a video for that also in the future because that's a bit more complicated than this video probably but um you're also wondering why i'm making a video it's because people struggle following this guide so i made a video to make it easier for some people but um if you feel confident this guide's also in the description of the video and you can just follow the guide and not use the video at all and yeah, you don't need it. Right, so let's uh, look into it. So make sure UAC is enabled. So um, I know the instructions off by heart, so you just press the Windows button at UAC. And then you're going to press Enter to this Change User Account um, Control Settings bit here. And for me, for some reason, it shows up in the background. Now, never notifies disabled. And if you lift it, it comes enabled. Now, for me, I don't need it enabled, and I don't like the idea of having this set up. Um, as notify in any way shape or form so i'm going to keep it that way but if something doesn't work it could be because you don't have this enabled if you want bluetooth support you need to install this now if you want bluetooth support you also have to bear in mind this thing that we've got here do not attempt manual pairing with windows so you've got to attempt the pairing i suppose with the application now, i'm not going to show the bluetooth bit but i think i've shown you a key thing to note there um, if you want Bluetooth support, you need to install. Okay, so we've done that. So now we're going to download the um, application slash driver. So we're going to open a link in a new tab. And you're going to go to the zip file here. See, so I've downloaded it quite a few times. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now, I'm not going to use WinRAR or anything like that because people might not be familiar with that. Now, Windows 11 and 10, it'll, it can look like this. Or Windows 11, if you just um, press Extract All, and that'll extract files. Windows 10, it should be extract all here. And you're just going to press extract to your desired location, which for me it's a desktop. Um, and then you're going to go to the 64 bit and you're going to go DSHID mini. Now, Windows 11, you want to go to view, show, file name extensions. It should already be ticked. If it's not already ticked, make sure it's ticked. Um, actually, I don't know why I said it should already. It might, it probably isn't. Make sure it's ticked because what that does is it shows things like .dll, .inf. It's some for some people it might show already, but um, it's really helpful that to have. Windows 10. I'll have a screenshot in the description of what it looks like for you and how you enable that. So um, let's continue following the guide. So it wants you to install the .inf file here. So make sure you take note of this directory before you continue. Um, make sure if you're you're on the 64-bit architecture, if you're following this, although it's rare that anyone's not. So you right-click this, show more options in Windows 11's case, and then press install, and then open. Now, normally you'd get all this other stuff, but I've done this before, so this doesn't show up because I trust this um, developer. Um, it says, do not miss this step. So the next thing is the IG filter document. So I guess a lot of people miss that step somewhere. Install. But we're not going to miss it to follow this video. Okay, so now it says, now, connect your controller. So we're going to do that. Very dramatic. Um, and it says, oh, I'm not going to read it because I know what to do. So you're just going to go to the uh, DSHID mini folder here. And then you're going to go to open the application. Um, actually, no, ignore me. You're going to right click, properties, compatibility. And tick run this program as administrator and then press apply okay as you can see i've already done this but um you need it to run as administrator to change important settings like changing it from xbox mode to ps3 controller mode very important so let's press okay there i'm going to open the application now click playstation 3 controller um it should look like this if you've got an official playstation 3 controller um 
So let's have a look here. So I want it to be um, RPCS free slash Steam SXS. This makes it run like how the official PS3 controller runs on the emulator and I guess on Steam as well. Um, I've never tried this in Steam, but as you can see, you can run it as an Xbox, DS4 Windows, which I assume is DS4. Um, generic direct input, I assume is like a fallback if all the others don't work. And you've even got for PS2 emulator, which is really good. Um, and then I'm just going to press apply changes. That's very important you do that. Again, if these options aren't available, it's because you're not running it as administrator. Um, so apply the changes. Now, you may have this error. Um, Fail to restart device settings have been saved, but couldn't be applied. Please manually reconnect the device um, for the changes to come active. So, beep. And then, beep. And then you can see, you click on here, it already says RPC is free. Now you want to test if it works, of course. Now you can actually close this now. You've done everything you need. And if you just uh, go to RPCS free or whatever application got to test, but uh, for me it's RPCS free because I want the pressure sensitivity PS3 settings. Um, if you wanted some for Steam, or whatever, I test in Steam and see if it works there. But uh, my focus is RPCS free. So as you can see, my analog sticks can move here. Um, what else we got? L2, R2, C work, even though this R2 is broken. I don't really use my DualShock 3 much, but uh, this is definitely the best because I've helped lots of people uh, set this up and they tell me it's the best. And that's it. This will give you pressure sensitivity, grenade throws, and MDS4, MDL2, and wherever pressure sensitivity is needed, which is kind of rare, but if you want the original PS3 control experience, this is the drive for you. And that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you've got any more questions or whatever in the comments section. I'll try to help you the best um, as I possibly can in regards to that. See you guys next time.